I don't treat medical conditions, I treat inflammation. I look at the different immune cells and give plants to support the cells that are elevated the most. Lymphocytes elevated, maybe we give olive leaf or lemon balm. Neutrophils, golden thread or neem. Monocytes, echinacea or astragalus. I help you optimize vitamin D if it's low and keep an eye on systemic inflammation. Diet, the more sick you are, the more soup cooked veggies, and protein. Otherwise, just follow the colors. Find your condition or symptom and eat the colors of that element. If systemic inflammation is high, maybe some daily ginger tea or turmeric. I don't treat medical conditions. I treat stress. I look at four stress markers. Thyroid stimulating hormone. If this is off, your body is in stress overload and is insisting that you slow down. Dehydration. Elevated red blood cells and hemoglobin means low water. Low LDH means hypoglycemia. Your adrenal glands release hormones to regulate sugar and water to preserve hydration and prevent hypoglycemia. Both indicate low adrenal hormone production stress exhaustion. Four, white blood cells. Low white blood cell count is immune depletion. You need to rest before you get really sick. Spend 10 minutes in yin state, completely still, as heavy as you can feel. Breathing as slow as you can, just still and heavy. 10 minutes. Take adaptogens, which repair from the effects of stress. Science says, very helpful. Pay attention to boundaries, snacks, and water every two hours through the day to decrease the need for adrenal hormones. I don't treat medical conditions. I treat energy production. I look at blood sugar, hemoglobin A1C, and your ratio of triglycerides to HDLs, a measure of insulin resistance, and my cue to ask you if you're eating like an adult. I don't work for people who aren't working for themselves because that would be enabling unhealthy behavior. And I was taught the way of integrity. You'd never heal if I did that. So we talk about improving diet, one small step at a time. Do more of this and less of that. And slowly, week by week, you add more good and squeeze out the hurtful stuff. Plus, I have protocols for addictions and hindrances to help you get over stuff that hurts your growth process. If A1C was elevated, we'd use plants that are proven to lower A1C better than pharmaceuticals. If cholesterol and triglycerides were elevated, we'd support the liver with herbs. Rub these points which they've said for 10,000 years, improves organ function, metabolism, and relaxes the body from stress. Now there's research. So finally, science agrees. These points really help measurably. I never once treated a medical condition, but people really improved. Most were taking meds and told me that they stopped because they were feeling so good. You got a better plan to improve your health? 